I'm starting to eat healthy because, man, it's really, really going through me. It's here! It's here! It's here! It's here! Kaya Lunar, how much we love and we're happy that you were here. Oh. We're gonna pull so many shots with you. I hope so. Akaya. Lunar. <laughs> Copy. What's <laughs> up, <laughs> so, YouTube? Dylan here with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar, and as you can tell from the beginning of the clip, a bit dramatic, but it's okay. It was. It was fun and we enjoyed doing it. But without further ado, I have to open this box. I have had this scale at my house staring me down for the last three days. And I am just getting to unboxing it for all of you guys today. Extremely excited. I do not know how to use this scale yet. However, we are just gonna go ahead and do the unboxing, show you guys what's inside of the box, just kind of go over kind of how heavy it is and stuff like that, just kind of overview of it. And then I am going to do a full review for you guys this weekend, using it for the first time and getting to learn and to know the functions it has installed. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. get started opening this package up i got my handy dandy keys with a little tiny flat head here thank you to my lovely wife for buying me this a long time ago oh my goodness there's a lot of uh popcorn here so we're just gonna go ahead and put this to the side oh my gosh this thing is packaged pretty well now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and put down the box and we're gonna get to unboxing the Akaya Lunar Scale. All right, so now that we have the package open, let's go ahead and let's see. All right, so it actually shows that you can download the app for more features, which is pretty neat. Uh, that I will also look into as well for you guys. Um, and as you guys can see here on the box, it is a weight slash timer dual display, water protection, durable, customizable smart auto off, USB rechargeable, and mobile app compatible. So that mobile app is going to be pretty cool. That's something I did not know about the Akaya Lunar Scale and excited to 
just kind of see where that function lies. So right here it shows that it's 10.5 centimeters by 1.5 centimeters. So pretty small, especially good for espresso when trying to fit underneath of the tray. So we're just gonna go ahead and take this out. All right, so right here we just have a getting started by Akaya. So it just shows a quick guide on how to use the machine. So it just shows how you can turn it on and off, tear the weight, and then switch the modes. So these are gonna be your icons to show you which mode you are currently on. And right here it shows you every single icon and the mode that you can use with the Akaya scale. So then this part right here just shows application instructions. Uh, just shows to turn the scale over, clean the bottom of the lunar, let it dry, remove the adhesive backing, and then position each protective strip at the bottom of the lunar and press firmly. So this, we actually have to apply the strips ourselves. So shows right here. So we'll get into that as well. So this is just gonna be our warranty card. Just gonna put this aside. All right, so this just looks like some stickers. Uh, I'm not really sure what this is. However, so yeah, these are just stickers that you can just put anywhere, which is kind of nice. And now let's get to revealing the scale itself. So right away, it looks absolutely amazing. I mean, this thing is pretty durable. And I mean, you can just tell just by touching it that it's built very well. Um, now, is it worth $220? I honestly cannot answer that. However, I will eventually when I finish the reviews. So this, it just shows that if you double tap that, it just turns the scale off. Single tap it, it turns it on. So there we go. It's gotta be on the actual flat surface for the Kaya to actually turn off. So here it's just showing the weight right there. And then if you look, you can just tear it on this side, just tear it back down to zero. And I think if you hold it, it changes mode. So now you have the timer mode and it scales it over here. Just kind of push the button and then it'll start. So right there. So once you, obviously now, once we have that going, so pretty much what you do is you, when you tear the weight, you can kind of reset it here. Oh, just turned it off. This is going fantastic. Okay, so when you tear the weight, it tears this, but when you want to start the timer, you have to actually press the start button. And then if you want to end it, you can press it one more time. It'll stop it. You can tear the weight press it one more time and it turns everything back to reset then if you hold the button again now you get this little teardrop icon and the teardrop icon right here if you look at the teardrop it's timer starts with flow mode we will get into this when we actually do the review of the actual scale itself so then if you hold it again you get the tear starts with flow mode and then you also get the auto tear start mode and then so yeah, we'll just go ahead and hold this again. So now another icon comes up and then this is another thing that we can learn how to use, another function. I mean, this scale is incredible. It's got so many different functions and I think it also comes with, let's go ahead and take some of this out. So these are the lunar protection strips that we will be applying to the scale itself just so it has some kind of grip so then it also comes with this little rubberized mat just to kind of protect the scale a little bit more so I just put that on there tear it off and then now we're back to grams so pretty cool definitely a good feature to have with the machine or with the scale itself so then going into more this is for uh, recalibrating your espresso scale. You put that on there, it should be 100 grams. So, 
right there. So now we're tearing it out to zero because this is a hundred grams. So let's tear that off. So we're at a hundred there. And then move it to this corner over here. Still at a hundred. So yeah, I mean, pretty accurate. And it, I mean, it goes pretty fast. I mean, it's extremely responsive, which is something that's really handy when pulling your shots with espresso. So now we're just going to put this back in here, just to keep everything kind of together. And then it also comes with a micro USB charging cable. So if you guys look right here, here is your USB micro port, which is, pretty nice to be able to charge your your scale pretty easily there but overall i mean this is a nice sleek design um extremely well made from just the feel of it i mean it's pretty pretty good size um it's a pretty small size and it's pretty heavy for a scale and i can't wait to get to reviewing it give it a nice full honest review show you the functionalities exactly how everything works on the scale itself and i look forward to making that video for you and it's going to be coming this weekend so make sure to check out the full review on the akaya lunar scale i will go through all the questions is it worth the money do you need it and does it perform as it should so i will get into that and a whole lot more but if you're new to the channel, I thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys can hit that like and subscribe button down below, I would truly appreciate it. Your support means everything to me. So I just finished up the unboxing of the Akaya Lunar Scale. And I'm extremely happy to be able to get to know the scale itself and to learn all of the functions so I can help you guys at home. If you guys are interested in purchasing the Akaya Lunar Scale, is it worth the money? Now that I have to be able to use for a little bit so I can get used to all the functions and I will definitely let you know. And if you guys have the Akaya Lunar Scale and you guys find it very helpful and you guys think it is worth the money, leave in the comments down below what you think of it and why you believe it is worth $225. Yes, I said it. it is expensive. However, if you are really making coffee a hobby or you are owning any kind of espresso bar or a small studio, definitely I have seen a lot of people rave about the Akaya Lunar Scale and that's why I purchased it here in my home espresso bar and also because I am investing in my channel because you guys are investing in me and I truly, truly appreciate it. And I am extremely thankful for all of you guys watching. I just hit 300 subscribers. So I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. It means the absolute world to me. And this is just something that I love and enjoy doing. And my family is extremely blessed that you guys are all very supportive of me. And with that being said, I appreciate and love each and every one of you. Again, if you can hit that like and subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification so you never miss another one of my videos, I would greatly appreciate it. As always, Dylan with Dylan's Espresso Bar. Peace.